Hey everyone, uh, continuing the story of the 12-speed uh, uh, GX Eagle from SRAM. Today I'm going to be talking about the shifting bits. I have the trigger here, or the shifter, and the rear derailleur. Just like everything else, these were redesigned to work as a system. Uh, I consider this to be one by drivetrain version 2.0 from SRAM. So here they are, as you can see, they come into these uh, smaller boxes, smaller compared to the cassette anyway. SRAM GX printed everywhere, uh, the product uh, picture is on it, not much on the back. And here on the sides, you have at some point a picture of the uh, drivetrain. This is to be found on both. And just like it was with the cassette, uh, here is where you have the details of the product. In this case, uh, this is the shifter. So it's the GX Eagle trigger, that is the product code. It's a 12 speed, made in Taiwan. They all seem to be made in Taiwan. Uh, manufacturing date, and this is the serial number. Uh, very similar here on the rear derailleur. Product code again, uh, RDGX Eagle, black. There's no other version. Uh, manufacturing Taiwan, uh, manufacturing date or week, and the serial number. But let's take them one by one and take a closer look. So first, here's the shifter. Open up the box, nice piece of foam keeping it from rattling around and this sits into this uh, piece of plastic uh, molded for its shape underneath is just a warranty leaflet two years warranty just like uh, all the other products and the bar clamp yes you can uh, use the matchmaker to actually attach it to your brakes if you have SRAM brakes now the shifter itself, the cool thing about these ones is that they kept the tech that was launched with the Eagle XX1, X01 but they just uh, used uh, cheaper material, so forged aluminum, a plastic cover but uh, aside from that, this is uh, moving on to a bushing in here the more expensive ones, they have a bearing inside also a, fe a feature missing here is on the more expensive uh, shifters you can actually adjust the angle of uh, your lever here, uh, not on this one. Just like with the other 11 speed uh, shifters, this goes up I think five gears at once, so one, two, three, four, five gears. Shifting up though is one at a time, so click, 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 click. What you see here is just uh, paint, there is no texture on any of the levers here. I don't know if they had that on the uh, higher end ones. To open up the cover, you just use a 3 millimeter Allen key and actually once you open up the cover not only that you can see the mechanism but this is how you replace the cable as well you see the cable over there make sure is down to uh, the smallest cog and as you push it out here it is you push the cable out and that's how simple it is to replace the cable on on these uh, shifters um, mechanism you can see that orange spool just pulling on the cable one by one now these are called the X actuation uh, triggers uh, they have zero loss I think it only means that there is no play here on the levers as you touch them they start moving the cable right away and yes I can confirm that last thing I want to share with you guys is the weight you can see is 122 grams 134 grams with the uh, bar clamp and the inner cable and talk about the inner cable uh, this is the only thing that you're getting so there is no cable housing that comes with the uh, GX uh, Eagle shifter with the shifter out of the way here is the rear mech uh, rear mech that's uh, supposed to work just fine not only with the GX uh, uh, shifter but also with XX1, X01 for those of you that want to upgrade to a better shifter like it's uh, uh, often done warranty states uh, two years just like with the other components there's nothing underneath here just in case you were wondering and what I have here it's a little tool for adjusting the B screw this is actually uh, usable on an 11 speed system and from what I read SRAM plans to uh, ship this with all the 11 speed uh, derailleurs in the future as well the rear Mac itself it does look big but it's not that heavy 292 grams versus the about 290 grams that's spec for it talking about big I think big part of uh, it feeling big is the fact that you have this uh, longer cage here 
and you have the bigger uh, lower uh, jockey how much uh, bigger is this I actually measured it if you look here this is about 93 94 uh, millimeters uh, in between uh, the centers of the jockey wheels on the previous uh, 11 speed uh, system uh, this cage comes down to about 75 millimeters so we're talking about a two centimeter uh, longer cage over here also to keep the length of the cage under control they had to introduce this uh, 14 uh, tooth uh, uh, tension pulley the guide pulley is still 12, uh, 12 teeth this one kept the narrow wide profile the top one lost it apparently in testing uh, in muddy conditions this was uh, coming out of sync with the chain causing uh, shifting problems so they got rid of that they're both rolling on well bearings which is great apparently they're cheaper bearings than uh, the ones found in x01 and xx1 but i don't care there's a bearing it's going to probably last forever with a bit of maintenance they use uh, cheaper materials so it's aluminum pretty much everywhere you have stainless steel hardware and it's a steel uh, spring as well you see the spring in there the other few things that they've improved making it better than 11 speed were this B knuckle, the way it works, I think they just uh, brought it level to what Shimano has been doing for a while. And the clutch has printed here, type 3 roller bearing clutch. This is supposed to give uh, about 20% uh, uh, higher tension, making for a better chain retention, not to be felt at the lever. Uh, the other thing they say is that this is more consistent throughout the range. The cage lock, you can see it in use here. Uh, this one apparently has moved position and is more recessed so is not as exposed. They talk about the narrow white profile of this lower jockey as helping with the chain retention especially on the extreme uh, chain lines that uh, will be needed with this 12 speed system. And that's pretty much all I have about the uh, shifting bits on this GX Eagle 12 speed from SRAM. As usual if you have any questions let me know in the comments below. Also if you want to purchase any one of these products use the links uh, in the description for my preferred seller don't forget to like the video keep an eye on my channel and the social media and until next time i'll see you on the trails guys cheers